Hello everyone, I'm back with another video. In this video, we are going to discuss how to install Atom Editor with Java JDK on Windows 11. So that being said, let's get started. So first of all, we have to install and set up Java JDK on Windows 11. For that, open your browser and search for Java JDK because we need to download Java Development Kit first. For that, open the link from oracle.com. Don't worry about the download link. You'll get the download link in the description box. Simply click this link and here we have Java download page. Here you can see Java 17 is the latest version of Java SE development kit and here we have to select our operating system. Here we have Linux, Mac OS and Windows. So we are going to install Java JDK 17 on Windows 11. We are going to select Windows and here we have our download option. Here we have three download option, compress file and the one is installer and another one is MSI installer. So we are going to download this x64 bit installer file simply click on this download link and here you can see it is downloading it is around 152 mb so it will take some time to download so let me complete the download process and after that i'll show you how you can install and set up java jdk 17 on windows 11. now let me tell you that if you're not able to download java se development kit 17 then you can simply log in to your oracle account so I had already made a video on how you can create a Oracle account for free to download Java JDK. So watch this video to create a free Oracle account. Now here you can see our download has been completed. Simply open this installer file. Here we have the setup window. Let me minimize the browser. Here you can see welcome to the installation wizard for Java SE development kit 17.0.1. Here simply click on next. And here we have to select our installation location. So this is the default installation location where Java JDK 17 is going to install. Now if we have a good reason to change this location then you can change by clicking on this change button and you can browse your location where you want to install. For now I'm just going to keep it default then click on next. Here you can see it is installing. Our installation process has been successfully completed. Here you can see that Java SE Deployment Kit 17.0.1 64-bit successfully installed. Now simply click on close. So by just downloading and installing Java JDK 17 on Windows 11, Java file will not work. For that we have to set up Java environment variable. To set up Java environment variable, we have to copy the path of Java bean folder. For that just open the Java installation folder. If you had selected the default path, then you will get your Java installation folder on the C drive, programs file and here you will find one folder called Java. Simply open this Java folder. Inside this Java folder, you will find JDK 17.0.1 folder. Just open this folder. Here you will find one bin folder. Simply open this bin folder and here simply copy this path. Because in this bin folder location, we have one important file called Java C. Java C is a compiler which compiles Java code. Now we have to set this path as an environment variable for Java. For that simply copy this path and open settings and here simply click on system and here you will find one option called about simply click on this about option and here you will find all your PC information. And here you have an option called advanced system settings. Simply click on this option. And here you will find environment variable option under advanced tab. Simply click on this option. And here we have our user variable and system variable. On the system variable, simply click on this path variable. Then click on edit. And here click on new. And here simply paste the path of that Java bean folder. So here we have our path variable. Simply click on OK. Then click on OK and here click on OK. Now we had successfully set up Java as an environment variable. Now to verify whether our Java installation has been successfully set up or not, for that simply search for CMD. Here we have our command prompt. Simply run this as administrator and here simply run two command. Java hyphen version then hit enter. Here you will find your Java version that is Java version 17.0.1 and the release date and here you will find Java SE runtime environment build number and Java hotspot 64 bit server VM build number. Now to check whether your Java C compiler is working or not for that simply run 
java c command if you find bunch of statement that means java jdk is successfully installed and set up on your windows 11 computer now let us download atom editor for that open your browser and search for atom and open the link from atom.io let me tell you that atom is a free and open source text and source code editor you can use this atom editor to run your java program now to download simply click on the link so this is the official website from where you can download atom now to download atom for windows 11 simply click on download option and it will download an installer file which is around 190 mb so let me complete the download process and after that i'll show you how you can set up atom id for java development our download has been completed now just open this installer file so here we have the installer let me minimize the browser it will automatically install and launch atom editor on your windows 11 computer so here you can see our atom editor has been successfully installed on our windows 11 computer if you're not getting atom id then you can simply search for atom id on this search option so this is the welcome screen here we have all the options such as open project version control with git and github collaboration with daily type install package choose themes and other customization option but we want to use this atom editor for our java programming for that let me close all this window let me maximize the editor now here click on file then click on settings and here simply look for install option in order to run java program on atom editor we have to install one package so here search for one package called script then click on this package option so this is the script package with the help of this script package we can run codes on atom now to install simply click on this install button while it's installing you can also check script description so you can use this script package to run this programming language here we have c c sharp c++ html java and javascript here you can see our script package has been installed on atom editor now let me show you how you can create your first java project using atom editor for that simply click on file then click on new file and after that you have to save this file to save your file simply click on file option then click on save as and here you have to name your java file say for example test dot java dot java is the java extension for java programming then click on save so here we have test dot java file now here let me write some code so here i have a simple code that will print hello world on our console let me tell you that your class name and your file name should be same now to run this code first of all you have to save your file for that simply click on file then click on save and after that simply click on packages and here click on script then click on run script and it will run your java code on your atom editor so this way you can install atom editor with java jdk on windows 11 so that's it for this video hope this video is helpful to you if you find this video helpful don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe the channel for more videos like this bye for now see you next video